I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Recording in progress. 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 Recording in progress. Progress. Progressive. That's what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Episode what up, Scotty G? Up a, episode four, White Trash and in Trouble. I'm with my good friend EJ. EJ, how are you doing, buddy? Alive and kicking for now. I guess I'm just white trash and in trouble all the time. I hope you don't get in trouble. I try I to stay out of it. I try to stay out of it too. I don't uh, know, man. I don't know, man. Being in Boca Raton over the weekend, it's a lot of things I wanted to do that could have got me in a lot of trouble. Did you run into Malvin? <laughs> Who? Malvin or oh, Granner? Oh, oh, I talk about typical Jew names. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, come on. I'm asking you to stop this. <laughs> hmm. I, I definitely saw a lot of Mortal Goldsteins earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. Actually, funny enough, my cousin, love him to death. He's so Jewish. You know what he did that was incredibly Jewish? Sued somebody. No, he'll 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 do he'll do that eventually. He there was a there was a dollar that he got from a Wawa for change and it, he said he didn't like the color of it and like the and like the texture. He asked to get a better dollar. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like I'm like I'm like, oh man, your 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 Judaism is showing well, that's a hundred <laughs> pennies. He's, he's not and he's not even Jewish either, which makes it even funnier. It's like <laughs> I don't know. What are, what are you drinking? Is that fucking Mountain Dew? No. <laughs> it's a Mountain Dew without any Mountain Dew, just extra tequila and a splash of mix. Ew, tequila. I can never do tequila. I'll never, ever, ever get into it. I'm getting in touch with my Spanish heritage, you know. Very true. Very true. I do. I don't know. I think well, the, only t- the only time I'll have sake, because I know you're a big sake guy, is, is with you. And I love that you brought Saki onto the Saki, stage. She's literally laying right here on the floor. <laughs> Saki, where's she at, baby? <laughs> baby girl, you want to be on camera? Saki, you little cunt, come oh, here. Oh, gosh, you're getting fat. <laughs> oh, there she is. I Hi. Not Hi, Saki. Is EJ touching you in a place that you don't want to be touched? Don't talk like that. That's my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like... <laughs> What if she starts speaking Australian? She's just like, yeah, he touches me everywhere. I fucking love it. <laughs> there, you, you cunts. Even worse if, like, she's a Sheltie Collie mix and all that, right? But it'd be really funny if she had a Japanese accent. I got to get Rick in here for that. I'm sure he watches enough hentai that he can do a good Japanese girl. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Rick. Oh, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant Rick. Shout Russo. out to Ricky Rat. <laughs> I thought you meant Rick Russo. I'm like, Rick Russo probably watches more like Bang Bus. Like, <laughs> stuff. He's like, you like yeah. do that in that new bit. <laughs> Dude. Your vi- yeah, your your set on last Wednesday was so fucking good. I was like so happy for you. I loved it, man. Dude, I wrote that like two hours before the show. But it's so good. You fucking you, you nailed it. I, I thought it was fantastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you better fucking save that for for Ocala, man. Oh, you absolutely. Gotta, yeah, man. I got a, I got those uh the you know the the hitters I'll bring and then those and I got a couple other things I want to try out. Just, just, uh, just use less. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. No, I didn't lose my train of thought. Don't say the N word. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. Neurotransmitter is Neurotrans- bad. <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> you said a lot to describe a lot of people. <laughs> it's like it's it, it's like all of a sudden you're on stage. Like I'm going to use the hard R now, and then you become you turn into a pirate. R. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I love the seven C's. That's cunt, cocksucker, Christian, Christmas, cantaloupe, can, can, candy cane, camel, crunch. Seven. I don't know. Seven C's. You didn't even say cigarettes. Like cigarettes over here. <laughs> I did. I did say camel crush or Captain Crunch or I don't know. <laughs> cunt, cunt is the se- is the first of the seven C's. There are matey. I love blind chicks because they can't see it when I'm about to come in their face. 
<laughs> I don't know where that came from. It just popped in my head. <laughs> that's fun. That, that's a good bit. A very good bit. So, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? I had a pretty good weekend. I don't remember. Oh, what did I do? What was the weekend? Did you fucked up? I don't remember what I had for breakfast. You don't remember what you yeah. had for? Did you get fucked up? Did I? No, I had a couple. Of... So, oh, I I went golfing. What uh, the? F- you went golfing? Yeah, I know, right, dude? Everybody's hitting me up for it, and I feel like like crap because half the time I'm busy. But it was impromptu. Uh, but you Amy and I went. Oh, you're one of your friends. Uh, Shannon's best friend. Yeah, I thought it was your best friend. No, my best friend is Thane. Shout out Thane. I love you, girl. Shout out to Thane. I don't know who I don't know who he is, but you sexy. Um, <laughs> I um. <laughs> That's my doll. I was supposed to. I wanted. I was supposed to go golfing with Trey during Christmas time when you were gone, and I was just like, I'm so bored. I want to golf. Who can golf? I was like, EJ's gone. I was like, I love Tony, but we'll be doing a lot of driving in the fucking woods and stuff. <laughs> get his well, balls just up. two feet in front of you. <laughs> You'll be showing his ball. I don't want to see his balls more than fucking four times. <laughs> Love you, buddy. We'll get him on next week. So um, to explain that so we don't make Tony seem like a fucking deviant. <laughs> We play a game when we're golfing. Yeah. If you can't put it, hit it past the ladies' tees, it's pants down or dick out. Well, all these guys are pussies, and they decide, okay, I'll just pull out my balls instead. So we walk around the, the playing the hole with our balls. <laughs> we can't do it at good golf courses. When we, when we were, um, I remember I was, I think I, yeah, when I was playing with, with my dad and my cousin and my uncle like a few weeks ago, we were talking about that rule, and I said, all right, whoever. Doesn't make it past the lady sees has to do that, and my dad did that, and and my dad, my dad's like, you don't want to see my long ass and nuts. What are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you uh, know he's playing polo <laughs> with his nuts. <laughs> he's swinging it like this, like a like Indiana Jones whip. Whoosh, gets around my Flies neck. Like <laughs> cousin's back and says, "Yeah." <laughs> my cousin looks like a fucking like a like a cimarron, like a stallion or something like that. It's a beautiful yeah. guy. Um, yeah. Like your mom had an affair with a horse. Like we. Know. Yeah. So, yeah. How did you? How did you figure that out? <laughs> no, I mean because you know how like stallions are and cimarrons are like majestic. That's basically what what I meant. You know, he's like 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 the bit I did. Like you know, he looks like Legolas from Lord of the Rings. I look like I'm about to lose my legs to diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So, um, wait, wait, wait. shout uh, oh, out to just... one stallion that's majestic, Sylvester Stallone. And if you haven't seen the Italian stallion, you're welcome. Go look it up. <laughs> Seventy bush everywhere. <laughs> wait, he was in a porn? Yeah, dude, he's got a nice cock. Does he really? <laughs> Before he was ever in, uh... all right, so Rocky and stuff. Cool he was in a porno. Yeah, he was in a uh, movie called The Italian Stallion. It was a porno. I did not know that. That's where his nickname for Rocky came from. He actually wrote Rocky himself. You know that, right? No. So he did. And cool story about this. He actually, uh, the dog in Rocky, Buster, Mm -hmm. that that, uh, he sees and everything he plays with, that's his actual dog. When he wrote that script, he didn't have shit. He couldn't afford like a house and all that. (laughs) And he sold the dog to somebody, hmm. right? And that money that he that he that he got from the dog, he actually used to get his script published. The movie became a hit, and it was all because of that dog. I was gonna say it all because of that porno. Sounds like it. I never. I, I didn't know he was a porn star. I gotta look it up. I wouldn't say a star. He he did an adult movie. <laughs> ah, whatever the fuck. Yeah, look I mean. it up. The Italian Stallion. Good dick. I would look it up. I would look it up now. Skinny dick or guinea dick? No, guinea dick. (laughs) That's fucking funny. What do you call a fat Italian lady? A fat Italian lady? Yeah. I don't know. A whopper? Guinea pig. (laughs) (laughs) Guinea pig. I got to use that. (laughs) Um... Wow. But but, yeah, I can see you doing that on stage in the wrong area. It's going to go so great. Like I'll do it in like Brooklyn. And they're like, Santa la hot, I got back up now. What the fuck are you? 
Hey, hey you disrespecting my wife over here. <laughs> hey, you gonna apologize to my fucking ma, you stupid Polak? You know what a fat Italian guy yells when the oven dings? What? Pies on. <laughs> I just made that up. It's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, but speaking of Rocky, rest in peace, Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed. My ninja. <laughs> Good job stopping yourself there, Emery. <laughs> fuck, fuck uh, man, okay. Aside from him being in Rocky, like he was awesome. Point Pierre Perry, and we all love Happy Gilmore, right? It's all yeah. in the hips. There's not like any moment you see him in a movie, you know it's going to be a good scene. Absolutely, like Predator. That's like the clap, the handshake heard around the room. <laughs> BS biceps. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he was also he was also good in in The Mandalorian, and that was like the end of his uh, career. Yeah, well, he was in a a few of the Star Wars things, wasn't he? Like no, for, uh, Disney? No, you're thinking... Well, that was the Mandalorian, yeah. Don't even say it. <laughs> you're thinking the other only black guy. <laughs> I would say that's the wrong actor. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm at James oh. Earl Jones. <laughs> According to you, you said James, you said James Earl correct. <laughs> No, you can't even make that joke. It's Black History Month. It is Black History Month. I'm I I love Black History. It, it kind of okay. This is what I kind of wish would happen. Why can't we make Black History Month in June? Because that's when we celebrate Juneteenth and make Pride Month February. Or Pride Month Wait, gay. Why do you want to give no, the gays a short? No, no, no pray, make Pride Month May, so we can just call them the month of May gay. A fucking great idea. You, know, you got a good ad campaign going. You should start this. I really <laughs> should. Petition. I I really should make Pride Month May, and we'll just call it Gay, and then fucking give give Black History Month uh to June. So because you know, think about it. Juneteenth is in June. Do you know what June to, uh, Juneteenth signifies? Right. Yeah, I do. What. Was in what is like the free freedom of the slaves on June nineteenth? What? I love how you said, "Yeah, I do." And it was like a question. <laughs> well, I was afraid you're gonna you're gonna be like, "No, it's something worse." And I'm like, "Oh." I, so I it's not the Emancipation Proclamation, as you know, didn't actually free anybody. It would have relegated that slaves in uh, in northern territories that still had slaves were still slaves. Yeah. Um, Lincoln didn't want to do it, but it would break the will of the South. Um, a lot of slaves actually stayed on plantations and became sharecroppers, just sh you know, shittily paid freaking slaves still. Um, Juneteenth actually signifies the last day of slavery in Texas because mm -hmm. it was the final state to bend to the will, if you will. However, we all know how the oppression went through the South, you know, all the way into the 60s and 70s. And, yeah, um, you fucking nerd. But no, I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't know it was Texas. So that's yeah. why I, that's why I questioned it because I was just like, because you know, I've always heard Juneteenth was the end of slavery in America. But I'm just like, technically, the end of slavery in America was Civil War. But what yeah. was, but we don't know the last day of the Civil War though. But when, when was the last day of the Civil War? Uh, the last March, March fourteenth, right of sixty five, nineteen sixty five. I want to say it was March. You know what? I'm gonna look this up. Actually, hold Surrender on. To if, 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 you, if you got, if you get it right, you're a fucking autist. Uh, <laughs> last <laughs> day of the Civil War. I want to say it was before Good Friday, of March between the fourth to the fourteenth. Wait, what did you, what, what did you say it was? I, I want to say it was before Good Friday, March fourteenth. Uh, it was 1965. 1865. It was at Appomattox Courthouse. Lee and Grant. Um, fun, funny story real quick, side note to it. Uh, the Appomattox Courthouse was owned by the same man that owned the land where the first battle of Bull Run, the start of the war, was fought. So the guy that owned property where the war started owned property where the war ended as well. Uh, I want to say Wilmer McLean, but I'm wrong on that. Hmm. It's 
been a okay. minute. I have to brush up on my history. Well, okay, so hate to break it to you, but it, the conclusion of the American Civil War, comm- you were close, actually, commenced with the Articles of Surrender Agreement of the Army of Northern Virginia on April 9th at a, at a, a, a Pomatox Courthouse by General Robert E. Lee. Appomattox. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Appomattox, whatever. It, it looks like a Pomatox, dude. It, it looks it's like a, a Native Pomatox. name. A Pomatox sounds Native American, too. Apomatox. Apomatox. <laughs> sounds like somebody's attacking the buttocks. <laughs> Apomata- Apom- Actually, Apomatox sounds like a uh, a drug. Oh, my God. He came upon my tox. <laughs> he came upon my tox. Ah. Um, but and concluded with surrender of the CSS Shenandoah on November 6, 1865, bringing the hot hostilities of the American Civil War to an end. So it was between April and November. But you got the year right. But you're so fucking close, though. I, I would have been like, yeah, uh, Civil close. War ended. Uh, Civil War ended when, uh, when, 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 when Jesus came back to... <laughs> just stop making fun of poor little Joe Dirt because I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. And then um, Lincoln was shot in September, wasn't he? It was in September, 1865. Yeah. Yeah, I believe. By we all know Ford's Theater by John Wilkes Booth, Six Emperor Tyrannus. Come on, we all know this one, right? Mm hmm. That's where the term break a leg comes from. Um, But yes. Anyway, oh, yeah, before we get into it, because you didn't ask. I had a great weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went all around the world. <laughs> Fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> EJ doesn't care about my my well-being and what I do with my life. He's just like, Scotty, I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> you're, you're Kanye and I'm President Bush. <laughs> EJ Salter does not care about black people. <laughs> I do not care about Polak, Slavic, <laughs> Jew people. <laughs> Speaking of that moment, how fucking hilarious was Mike Myers' face when he did that? He was, he was like, like... <laughs> you can tell what the fuck was all over his mind. <laughs> but anyway, I saw Pantera on Saturday. Yeah, it was, was so it? fucking sick, dude. Um, yeah, Lamb of God opened, great fucking band. Uh, Pantera, yeah, they went in. We were we were originally we had like seats like somewhere in like the shitty section of the arena, These fucking tiny ass seats. I'm fucking like this in front of that next to a bunch of people, and my my cousin was like, "Hey, my buddies are up in the club. We can get like I'll I'll have them uh, text us tickets." So that way it looks like we can just show them that, hey, look, we're, we're here. Oh, yeah, just go over there. So that's what we did. We went up to the club area. There was a bar over there. We could watch the show from down there. And we're not getting our asses kicked in a mosh pit. So we all fucking won. You didn't mosh? Fuck no, dude. Some I was not going to get down there and I was some song magic. Bro, I fucking have been in so many mosh pits. I've broken my ankle in one of them. I've gotten a concussion in one of them before, man. I uh, I think I've retired from the mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> Too old for this shit. <laughs> shit, you you probably fucking brought brass knuckles to mosh fist. <laughs> I never brought brass knuckles. You get fucked up. You bring something like that into a pit. Oh, they'll kill you if you brought brass knuckles to a pit easily. I, I've run and jumped into a pit with a spinning kick before. <laughs> oh my god, I, I you're one of those guys. I would have fucking hated you if I was in a mo- that hot mosh pit with you. <laughs> well, it was a very aggressive pit. Uh, Devil driver. Uh, oh shit um death cab okay uh, who else was there uh dying fetus dying day you were like a death metal show bro yeah dude at the state theater in tampa it was freaking awesome well tampa and st peter are fucking huge for death metal and thrash metal yeah. there's there's one band i remember seeing a long time ago actually i think i played with too when i used, when I used to be in bands there is they're called frost fang they're from st p they're awesome and i hope yeah. they're still playing music Speaking of, you could probably find them on Spotify because there was a local band back in the day uh, called Weak Sauce, and uh, they were like, it's kind of hard to put like what they were like a ska, but not really ska. Um, Uh, Ska's ska's kind of gay. (laughs) They weren't exactly ska. Like they had French horn in the band, trumpets, bass. It was it was fun. If I played the song for you, you'd be like, "Yo, that's pretty cool." 
the song we saw. So I was, it popped in my head at work and I started singing it. And somebody was like, what are you singing? And I was like, I don't know. Let's see if it's on here. It's, you yeah. wouldn't know I'm a local band. Gaines- and it was on Spotify. I was like, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. See, Gainesville was huge in like ska as well. And I'm like, nah. But then Ocala, it, it, their music scene was like a day to remember, like hardcore breakdown, like. Well, then a day to remember had all signs point Fort Lauderdale, right? That was one of theirs. The bomb, the pot, pl- the, the, the plot to bomb the plant panhandle. And I think well, no, the, the song. Where yeah, I like, yeah, I think I hate this the... town is so washed up, and all my friends don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Fort Lauderdale one. Uh, one of my favorite name. What names to call Fort Lauderdale? Actually, one of my buddies told me "Smoke Crack and Hail." <laughs> <laughs> Probably accurate. Yeah, it's, it's super accurate. So, all right, now let's. We're getting a little uh, off topic here. So, yeah. Uh, White Trash and in Trouble. Everyone who uh, watches this better know it by now. We uh, cover a couple articles that, that include people that are extremely white trash and they got in trouble. So last week, yours was the Australian family? Yeah, the inbreds. <laughs> in, the inbred Australian family. And mine was Karen Jones of Santa Barbara, California, who admitted she stormed the Capitol on January 6th on Kill Tony. <laughs> Stupid bitch. crazy bitch. So um you said hey guys, I committed a federal crime. So you said uh the one that you are gonna share might give us a death threat. Might give some hate mail, but I mean all right, all right. Well, how about we'll save we'll save yours for last and we'll we'll do mine. Mine is actually mine's really disgusting and and I and I actually heard it on the Mike Calta show the other the other day, and I'm like, I have to talk about this. <laughs> so shout out to Mike Calta for for the inspiration. Ready? And the Calta comedy show. And yes, 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 yes. Pennsylvania man arrested after allegedly killing his father and displaying his decapitated head on YouTube. YouTube's come a long way, <laughs> dude. I mean, dude, you do fucking. <laughs> Twitter and Instagram is ruthless. Like I've seen, I've seen way more like death video people dying on like Instagram and Twitter, social media in general, more than I did back when I was a teenager looking at fucking Taliban beheading videos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it bad when you said Pennsylvania man? <laughs> Next week's guest was the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> Next week's guest, Pennsylvania oh. man. <laughs> 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 and he is a villain <laughs> and his right. dad's in town right now so is he really oh that's fucking yeah. hilarious. all right dude his name is really close to you know whose name okay so okay a pennsylvania man has been arrested after allegedly killing his father before displaying his decapitated head in a gruesome youtube video while spouting right-wing conspiracy theories <laughs> that's where you got the white trash part the right, right wing uh, the right way are right, you ready for this yes justin yeah. moan <laughs> <laughs> age 32 m-o-a-n m-o-h-n <laughs> uh, so is accused is, it's so close is accused of killing his father michael moan <laughs> Police told NBC News, while police did not release the victim's age, public public records show him he had to have been 68. Dude, what if they have he has a sister named Shirley? <laughs> she will surely moan. I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> She'll surely moan. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Man, oh my god, that was so fucking oh, funny. Locked in the cage. <laughs> do you do you think when they her name is Shirley? Do you think her her husband calls her like like this? <laughs> she never moaned for me. She went for. <laughs> <laughs> man that was fucking funny <clears throat> okay 
Mullen was taken into custody about 100 miles away from the crime scene on suspicion of first-degree murder, abuse of a corpse, and, pos- and possession of, of an oh, uh, possession of an instrument of crime with intent, according to a court docket released early Wednesday. Abuse of a corpse. I mean, you, you already abused the fucking body before you killed it. I mean... Isn't that what they... They've got a bunch of undertakers for, like, fucking corpses with that. Abuse of a corpse. Do you think, like, morticians have, like, some sort of, like, fetish for, like, corpses? I don't think that all of them do. I think some of them do. Um, I think that it's also... Yeah. Like, any other job, you find people that... You know, know that it needs to be done and that it's job it, security. It is, yeah. Um, then you have people like uh, Mr. Doby, Thomas Doby. Mm-hmm. I feel like that guy has such a passion for life that he can also appreciate the death aspect of things. Have you ever seen like a body like post mortem, like but not involved or anything? Like yeah. a dead body? Have I ever seen a dead body? I- I'm talking about not in a casket. I'm talking about no, no, like. like- in person, yeah, yes, a few yeah, times. yeah. Because I've se- I've seen like obviously dead dead bodies like in a cask, but I've never seen one like freshly dead, all like rigor mortis and stuff, and all. Yeah, I don't what know. Next to two of them. <laughs> wow. No, that sounds like a bad setup. My grandmother and my uncle though. Oh, okay. I was with them when they died. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. No, you're good. Yeah, no, it's no, it's it's to me like. Yeah, like 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 what you said. It's just one of those careers that we need morticians a hundred percent. But and I just, fucked that dead guy behind the dumpster. Remember? Uh, I, I, I was there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I, I. I'm not gonna say it. I was gonna say something so fucked up, but I don't. I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> we'll name it restless sleep when we film it. <laughs> so fucked up. Um, but yeah, Go man, because like. My mom did makeup on like her her mother when she was when she died and like her sister and I think another another one and I'm like ah oh, it's you know it's like yeah it's rough. it is rough man and I mean like look I got nothing I got no problem lo- looking at a corpse like in in a casket because it's like yeah it's just the shell of what once was that person but you know they're not there like yeah I don't know just you have to, I don't know you have to have like some kind of insane. I don't know. Just you gotta be gotta be slightly crazy in, in, to get into that field right there, and I, I respect them for that. Just don't fuck yeah. a body, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let, let me uh, let me go. You diddled my dead grandma. <laughs> <laughs> why? Let's why is my D it. let's triple D it? He diddled my dead dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> why does why does why does grandpa have a boner? <laughs> He was a he was harangued. I, I I got that word wrong the other week and denied and denied bail. Uh, Middletown uh, Township Middletown Township Police Captain Pete Feeney said, "All right." So in the YouTube video, which was titled "Moans Militia," wow, <laughs> moans militia, <laughs> Rones militia. <laughs> <laughs> that happened on January 6, 2021. <laughs> uh, Moans and Militia call to arms for American patriots. <laughs> is cited in a police, a police complaint. Moan is seen wearing gloves and holding his father's head in a plastic bag. Later, oh, the head could be... Gloves. Jesus Christ, get off his back. Later, the head could be seen in a fucking cooking pot. Moan says his father was a federal employee for 20 years and refers to him as a traitor. Calling for death of all federal officials and attacking President Joe Biden's administration, the Black Lives Matter movement, the LGBTQ movement, and Antifa activists. God, he barely missed anybody. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he saw, like, sounds like a fucking, sounds like a normal dude that would live in, like, Crystal River or something. <laughs> or, like, or Newport Richie. Or, or Newport Richie. <laughs> YouTube removed the video, which is more than 14 minutes long after it was posted. And here he is. He looks like a fucking open micer that we'd see around here somewhere. Dude, oh my god! <laughs> Does he not look like That's someone we dangerous. see in an open mic? <laughs> ah, no! Don't say that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Shit. Wow. In 
a statement, a YouTube spokesperson said the video was taken down because of its strict policies prohibiting graphic violence and, ex- and violent and extremism. He's a fucking dead deadhead. It was up for 14 minutes, though? You no, know, the video is 14 minutes long. I don't know how long it was up for. He couldn't even get 15 minutes of fame. Exactly. I mean, he, the guy's getting plenty of fame now. <laughs> Do you think it was monetized? <laughs> <laughs> See uh, how many viewers this guy got. <laughs> yeah. The video was removed for violating our graphic violence policy, and Justin Moon's <laughs> channel was terminated and uh, terminated in, in line with our violent extremism policies. Our terms are closely tracking to remove any re-uploads of the video, the statement said. We should just put it on the podcast right now. We'll go on the fucking dark <laughs> web and find it. Oh, man. Uh, shit. Moan has filed at least three lawsuits against federal agencies, including the U.S. government. Hmm. Claiming they uh, neglect. Okay. N E G L I G E N T L Y. What does that spell? One more time. N. Neglecting. It's like negligent. 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 I don't fucking know. Negligent? No. Okay. N E G L I G E N T L Y. Negligently? Yeah. God, I'm stupid. I, I'm my, <laughs> I'm white trash and I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> cause them to take out stupid. <laughs> Thank you. I know what I'm saying when I read it. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> So he's he's filed three lawsuits against federal agencies and the U.S. government. Okay, it caused him to take out student loans between 2010 and his graduation from Pennsylvania State University in 2014. He paid a he paid a filing fee of two thousand dollars, and after his claims were dismissed, he sought to have the judge rescued from the case of what uh, the case because of what he claimed was personal bias and conflicting personal uh, financial interests. I beheaded my dad. Now pay off my student loans. <laughs> dude, there's so much. Dude, this guy's done a lot of shit, man. Hold on. And a and a, an illegal opinion on the case. The judge called the judge called the accusations entirely speculative and without factual basis. And oh, Mo- an said, and said Moan's co- complaints were the inaccurate allegations of disappointment of a disappointed college graduate. Moan also sued his former employer, Progressive Insurance. What a Jew. (laughs) 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 For allegedly uh, um, alleging wrongful termination and sex discrimination against men. He was hired as a customer service representative in October of 2016 and was fired in August 2017 after he kicked open the facility's door, courts records shows. Boom! Time to fuck Wait, some did he shit do up. Like big boot style, like boom. Oh, I did like your seventy stam. He's like, oh, it's going to get fucked up here. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation are you doing with my tax dollars? I thought this was progressive, not digressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a district court. Where's that bitch flow? <laughs> <laughs> fucking flow a district court ruled that moan failed to establish a case of discrimination when moan was filing his lawsuit his parents were given about 540 dollars a month he indicated in the court filing shortly before a progressive so before progressive fired him he had taken a trip to vegas to see if he could pursue a music career according to the lawsuit thank god he decided not to come down to tampa to fucking do comedy <laughs> oh man, there's so that's much. That's rock bottom. Okay. Hey, uh, let me try to find. Let me try to find something that's uh, all right. The gruesome scene. Here we go. Wait, now hold on. I just pulled it up on here. Do you know what he said when he was declined that lawsuit? What? Nothing. He just let out a moan. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what do you have to say for yourself, Mister Moan? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Call his dad Sleepy Hollow, the fucking headless horseman. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're nearly headless, Nick. Oh my what god! <laughs> nearly headless, Michael. Nearly headless, Mike. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> All right, all right. 
So this, let's talk oh. about the gruesome scene here. The suspect's mother, Denise Moan, found his father's body and called police around 7 o'clock p.m. Tuesday. Well, what would you do if you found your your beheaded fucking partner? Fuck it. Get one, last, <laughs> get one last nut. <laughs> Is it still warm? <laughs> Wait, uh, he never, he would, man, he never let me put, he never let me put it in. I mean, so I can just go like this. For, yeah. Oh God, <laughs> your wife's cut in half, like this way or <laughs> this way. <laughs> By the waist. So, what if the other half is okay? I don't know what you <laughs> mean. Gets a hot dog on a donut. Let me explain. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> so, when police arrived at the family home in Middletown Township. They found Michael Moan in a downstairs bathroom decapitated with a large amount of blood around him, according to a police complaint. A machete a machete, uh, and a large kitchen knife were found in the bathtub. Yeah, he's two? Pussy. A machete yeah, and a kitchen knife? Man. <laughs> Do you think when he was uh, downswinging and trying to cut the head off, you think he was moaning? Yes. <laughs> 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 Police found my you, daddy. <laughs> Police found Michael Moan's head inside a plastic bag in a cooking pot in a bedroom next to the bathroom, according to the complaint. They also found a bloody clear rubber gloves in another bedroom. In the YouTube video, the suspect is seen wearing similar gloves. Uh, here is what the house looks like right here. If you could see. Nah. Nah. Blurry. It's just a fucking typical house in, in Pennsylvania. Denise Moan told police that she'd last been home at 2 p.m. and that her son was the only person there with his father. When she returned to the home that evening, shortly before calling police, her son was missing along with a car registered to her husband that had been in the driveway, according to the complaint. Uh, there's so much fucking... Okay, that, you know what? We get it. We get it. The guy who killed his dad. What is he? <clears throat> what? What is he? Oh, he is white trash and he's in trouble. Boom! Hey! All Fuck right. You might moan. Oh, mm. sorry, that's the dad. Oh, oh wait, what's the what's the Fuck son's you, name? Justin Moan. Justin Moan. <laughs> Short shorten his name up. Just Moan. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> All right. Do you think he did? Do you think he says I'm white trash and I am dangerous? <laughs> That's such a great inside joke, and I will not air that out. <laughs> we, we, well, no, he's gonna be like, "What do they mean by that?" Only our friends know. So fuck <laughs> off. All right, EJ. All right, I'm excited to hear what yours is all about since yours is might get us canceled. I'm, I, <laughs> Let's get this it. article. I I had something else completely different lined up, and I got this news today. It came across the wire. And I said to myself, you know what? Proof that you can have money and still be white trash. You don't have to be poor to be white trash. You could be one of the wealthiest families in the world. And still be white trash. Why'd you just zoom into the camera like that? <laughs> it's, it, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Like, you, it's like, it's like you almost it's like you almost came through my monitor. So this person is white trash because they've aired out their freaking family's dirty laundry for so long. They've also killed off family members along with other people. The matriarch of the family, or sorry, the patriarch of the family, also married the woman he was cheating on his ex-wife with, and there's a big rumor that he had his ex-wife killed. Any inclination to who I'm talking about yet? So this is like a celebrity, right? Is that is that is that he's trying to like say in their own right? The whole family is okay. Man, Mary's ex-wife. Nope. Mary's no, 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 girl. Mary, Mary, Mary's girl is cheating. His mistress. 
has yes. has his wife killed. Allegedly. Um, that's alleg- a big fucking alleg- 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 allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> they like a, are they like a like a NASCAR driver or something? Oh, wait, wait, let me give you this. Let me give you a little a little a little drop here. Okay. Um uh, <laughs> Zach's wife was fat by no means, but she was the princess of Wales. Yeah, that's right. Fucking King Charles, bro. Fuck him. So King Charles is white trash and in trouble? (laughs) King fucking Charles is white trash. I say it. I stand behind it. Aside from the bullshit before his mother died. Rip, bitch. <laughs> okay? When he aired out the laundry with his fucking receded hairline son and that mud blood princess. <laughs> I'm fucking going in, bro. I wore this blue coat. Okay? Like, the Continentals for a reason. Because fuck the red coats. <laughs> Well, I'm, we're about to fucking get so much heat from the from, from our for the British viewers. God damn! Boy, fuck you! <laughs> fuck your king! Fuck Charlie! Charlie bit me. <laughs> yeah, fuck Charlie! Something bit him. This is why he's in trouble. There's no greater trouble than getting the big C. What's the big C stand for? Charles has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's right. Is he making a joke out of cancer? Absolutely. <laughs> Here's why it's even better. Just fuck him in his ass, right? What the fuck? King Charles happen? has an undetermined cancer that they found when they had their fingers in his butthole. <laughs> and it's not prostate cancer. <laughs> Legit. He's been going for a few weeks to get his prostate tickled. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a touch from the lads. <laughs> I assume his doctor had a smoking jacket and a cigar and was like All good down there, Charles. <laughs> All good down there, Lord, my love. You in tip top shape. <laughs> tip tip pip tip tip pippy pop magoo. So nice you nice circumcision. <laughs> nah, they're not circumcised over it over there. <laughs> so He's been going, he's 75 years old, right? I thought he was and, older than that. I thought he was like fucking, I thought he was like 100. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking lizards. <laughs> lizards? Damn, you're Justin Moe now, who's like, right, wait, conspiracy. Going off in this bitch. I want to be headed up for a <laughs> No, the type of cancer has not been revealed. However, it was discovered during his recent treatment for an enlarged prostate. Mm-hmm. Okay. He began regular treatments on Monday and will postpone public duties during the treatment. This came out of Buckingham Palace today. So I dropped my freaking toothless dude trafficking meth story to bring old Charlie in here and give him a proper spanking like our fucking ancestors did the Redcoats. America! America! As I drink a Spanish drink. Hey, papi. You know, that's actually funny. I was gonna say I was thinking about suggesting to you like every like middle of the month or even like beginning of the month for every show we do a celebrity edition of White Trash and in Trouble. That's fucking see that's a good idea. See, I was like, you know what? Dibs on Lindsay Lohan. Um, <laughs> go ahead. But you said okay, you see the King Charles. Hey, I, I can't do mine anymore since we finished that. Uh, so what else is what else is going on with uh with old Charlie? I mean, other than he's a fucking cuck. <laughs> and he had his ex-wife killed in a tunnel with Dodie Afayed. <laughs> or Dodie Fayed, whatever the was it? Wasn't fucking Princess Diana, like, when she was in that accident, wasn't she, like, alive for, like, three hours and then all of a sudden just died in the hospital, like, randomly? I don't know. I'm not the doctors or the mortician. I do know, however, she brought shame to the family name and the queen wasn't playing no games. Charles said, I want my side bitch up in here. Get rid of that bitch over there. <laughs> Holy shit. 
And that's what you get when you drive in a car with a drunken Frenchman. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> Nah, oh, keep shit. keep going. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, man. So while Harry's running around wherever he's going with his mud blood princess that alienated themselves from the family, old daddy's sitting in the palace with a swollen butthole area. Hmm. <laughs> Oi! Has think, Harry called me back? <laughs> do you think his butthole looks like this? His prostate looks like that. <laughs> Inside it, that's exactly how the doctor tickled. That's his butthole. <laughs> and inside of it is no, that. No, do, you <laughs> think, like, do, do you think actually he went like this? Hold on. <clears throat> I was about to say, Scotty's asshole comes out on camera. Doctor, can you please tell me if it's okay in there? <laughs> oh, Let me ask you a question. <laughs> oh, God. Too far the finger there. <laughs> He goes to the doctor with the biggest fingers in England. <laughs> I just farted on my microphone. Oh. <laughs> did you hear that? No. Oh, you didn't hear my mic. Oh, Rewind my fart? the tape. <laughs> I'll, hopefully it'll pick up because that was a nice little fart. I think I should have tapes. That's something this generation has lost. Fuck yeah. you if you never had to hold a pencil and a cassette and rewind it. <laughs> Oh my god. Like a fucking fidget spinner. Fuck you if you never had to turn to channel three just to play Nintendo. Yeah. Fuck you if you never jerked off to channel 99. Oh, I remember channel 99. It was all I think fucking... that was a tit. I think it was a tit. Dude, oh my god. I think I saw a little bit of puss. Puss, puss. <laughs> oh, that's a dick. Oh, I just came to the dick. Oh. Well. So. What's the conclusion to King Charlie? The conclusion is the royal family is white trash because there's a lot of inbreeding in their past. There is. Okay. On top of, yeah, that's right. Call back to the Australian family. There's a yeah. lot of inbreeding in their past. They did out their dirty laundry like a Jerry Springer episode. He <laughs> has a big problem with fucking with British and Australian people now. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funny, man. But conclusion of mine as well, uh, don't kill your dad. Don't behead your dad either. Depends on how, I mean, if your dad's a piece of shit. I mean, he was a federal worker, so he might have been a piece of shit. He probably, he probably like fucking made a lot of people bankrupt. He probably gave a lot of food stamps to people. <laughs> and the family split off from the Catholic Church so the king could fuck more women. Thank you, Henry VIII. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, dude. Too bad you don't have your little rascal's hat on right it's, now. It's over there. Hold on. And <laughs> Every time you tell that bit, <laughs> you know the first thing that pops in my head is fucking ghost. Ghost? Yeah, with Patrick Swayze. Oh, because he sang that annoying ass song to get her to date him. Oh, I'm in really eight, I am. In really eight, I am. I am. Oh, I got married to the widow next door, and she's been married seven times before, and everyone says, Henry, Henry. Wow. <laughs> I need a. I need a fucking ender. I, I feel like I feel like with that with that joke right there, the King Henry the Eighth one. I think I need a. Farted. Uh, an ending punchline. Because I sometimes I say like, um, it's like, yeah, I'm royalty, bitch. Or, yeah, I mean, I, one of them I said was, you should thank me. I, I invented divorce, basically. So I, sh I think I should do that. Let's talk about it after the thing. Yeah, yeah, after. I don't want people taking more ideas. Yeah. Um, fuck, Ward. All, right, All well, two people that subscribe to this. <laughs> well, it's on my channel. I, I'm thinking about making a, like a separate one. For uh, white trash only, Did white you really trash just only. Your nose and not know how to say negligently. <laughs> I didn't say negligently. <laughs> I did not say negligently. Oh, oh, oh! From the other, <laughs> oh, from the fucking article earlier. Oh, Don't be uh, like, wow! Yeah, nigga, the dollar, dollar, nigga, 
careful there. <laughs> he's just like, I just can't stop saying it. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa, I didn't. I, I, oh. Safe, right? Safe. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> that that that's that German umpires safe <laughs> safe <laughs> god damn it I gotta end it off now <laughs> it's a German umpire it's a joke <laughs> what did you know the difference between <laughs> German salute and a gay guy no. uh, 90 degrees <laughs> Like hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I mean you think they'd be, you know, up like you know, it's like when they see a cute guy, they're just like <laughs> I love like if you watch some of the old videos of like World War II and you they see the Nazis parade, you had like people that had strict stiff hands, right? Mm -hmm. And then you had the ones that did like the yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hi <hail> him. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, have you seen Heimlich Himmler? He he looks like a dork. Like he literally just looks like this, <laughs> with like big circular glasses, like fucking Harry Potter or, or like Harry Truman. I mean, if you I mean like yeah, why would why would you be? What didn't they call him like the Doctor of Death or something like that? He's a no, pussy. that was uh, Mangala. That was Mangala. You're Mangala. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't um, know. They they all look like pussies. <laughs> I just made this up. It came up in my head. Ready? Okay. Do you know the difference between <laughs> Gerbils and Gobbles? No. My bitch didn't Gerbils my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> she gobbled them. They're both Joseph! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And this wow. What a... What... <laughs> What a conclusion. What a conclusion, man. Great show. Great times. We can never do this live. <laughs> <laughs> but well, we are next week. We are next week. We got the wonderful, the lovely, the amazing, the great and powerful. I was going to fill him up for too much there. He's white trash and in trouble too, okay? <laughs> Anthony Rowan, the grizzly villain. He's, he's, he's making his appearance. Those large balls of his. <laughs> Next week, Anthony Roan. Anthony Roan. You know, I like to make buildups. They're fun, man. Yeah. You know what he is in my phone? What is he in your phone? Baby cakes. Baby cakes. Oh, like from yeah, China. Without that China. beard, it looked like a baby booty. From from China, Illinois? What? No, he's from Pennsylvania. With a last name that sounds like Moan. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll show you baby cakes from China, Illinois in a second. <laughs> anyway, but Anyway, brother... I will probably I don't know I'll I'll probably see you this week if I get out I, I I'm doing a don't with, I'm doing a don't tell show Mike on uh which one the uh, every other week one oh oh title now hmm. probably the week I, I'm gonna do that one like once a month now or maybe like even less than that because it's so fucking far from where I live and I don't get paid to do that. <laughs> that open mic, well, even though it's a great room, it's a, it, it really is. Shout out to Ryan. He well, can't believe he won that roast battle. It's sick as fuck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. a short list. <laughs> <laughs> it only said that because he's short. Was it long? Was it longer than Schindler's? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, all right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Ever got uh, Saturday? Oh yeah, you... on Saturday. Or at tap. At this maybe i'll come by get some food yeah got uh, some pretty cool features who's featuring um we're gonna do this off camera or yeah let's do, let's do it off camera yeah all right we're gonna end in here guys we love you See we're you. white trash and in trouble yeah <laughs>